Hi, I'm so excited. Um, we're in our indoor space. I think I'm just gonna call this the Above the Grove um, series of videos. Um, I wanna talk about Christmas music. I'm not really into a lot of Christmas music. Um, our family tradition is once everything is settled and the Christmas shopping is done and food is in the car and we're on our way to celebrate with family and you know we put we put Billy Idol's Christmas CD in the car and we listen to that on repeat and sing along with it that is our Christmas music and this is the other song that I sing or it's at least in my heart through the holiday season and the reason why is because it talks about troubles and muddling through because sometimes it just hasn't been so easy for me. Um, having ankylosing spondylitis, which started when I was pregnant with my son, being a daily occurrence. Um, I felt like there were, I was putting a lot of expectations on myself and there were a lot of expectations on me from other people about what the holidays would be like, how much time I would spend with people. And maybe some of that was in my head. Maybe it was, wasn't, I don't know. <laughs> but I felt a lot of pressure. And so sometimes it was a muddle in the air. Um, especially after my mother passed away. And then I learned to walk with that grief. And we had good years again. But every now and then there's still a muddle in the air. So I started researching this song a little bit and learned it was from a movie called Meet Me in St. Louis. And, okay, so I'm researching about the song and find out that they requested the, the person who wrote the song. Originally, apparently, it was much sadder. And I'm like, sadder? Like, how could the song get, it's kind of, kind of on the edge there. It's pretty, pretty, mm, pretty questionable. So I better watch <laughs> I better watch the YouTube clips and see exactly how sad are we talking about here. And I come up with these clips where Judy Garland is talking to this little girl in a movie about dead dolls and having to dig up dead dolls from a dead doll gate graveyard and like, okay, this, this, this is a little freaky here. What's, what's, what's happening here? Okay, so let's look up Meet Me in St. Louis because now I have access to it and like my husband bought us instead of a big gift this year, he got us HBO Max for the year as our Christmas gift that a, a year's subscription to HBO Max. Okay. So I have access to the movie so I look it up and I find out it's a comedy and I'm like, it's a comedy? What are we talking about? We're talking about dead dolls and graveyards. What is happening? So, at any rate, I had to go and watch Meet Me in St. Louis myself. And it's, I, I have to say, I, I absolutely was enchanted with it. Um, a year in the life of this family. Just absolutely hilarious. Judy Garland is, of course, stellar and amazing and hilarious. And um, just everything that Judy Garland is. And uh, I'm really, I don't want to give the end away or anything, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not as horrible as all that. Um, but I do think that the song is appropriate, and I really did want to share it. And so, um, from Meet Me in St. Louis, actually... 
I do want to take a shout out or take a moment to shout out to um, to my favorite um, music Instagram feed right now is the useless humans T H E useless humans go follow it it's really great stuff a lot of old stuff really classy just does my heart good to follow their feed and see what's what's coming next um, really interesting choices and I'm gonna try and get through this without ruining my makeup um, which is why I don't put on makeup in the first place <laughs> but um, yes meet me in st. Louis highly recommended as well if you haven't watched it I'm I'm making it up this is like my 2021 resolution I don't normally make resolutions but my 2021 resolution is to work through those old classic movies that I have missed out on in my life and now I need to make up for that time so Meanwhile, meet me in St. Louis. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Please be safe. Please celebrate responsibly. Um, stay with your pod, you know, or if you're not staying with your pod, be real about where you've been. Be, you know, talk responsibly about it and celebrate responsibly and ha have the best and safest Christmas and a healthy new year for everybody. All right, let's see if we can do this here. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Through the years, we all will be together, if the fates allow. Hang a shining star upon the highest bough, and have yourself a merry little Christmas now. Here we are as in olden days, happy golden days of yore. Faithful friends who were dear to us will be near to us once Someday soon, we all will be together, if the fates allow. Until then, we'll have to muddle through somehow. So have yourself a merry little
please um, take care. Be safe. Travel safe if you are traveling. Please don't travel too far. <laughs> and um, maybe I'll see you next year and maybe even before that. Take care.